After some really intense thinking, I finally figured out what I'm gonna draw. So, shall we? Sometimes I like to draw based on my feelings and this time I was feeling like drawing something more towards nature and also it is 2021 and I feel like the ecosystem has become more much more like cleaner you know when I look up into the sky I see the clouds that are more white and the sky is more blue so I felt like this drawing should be a little more towards nature and 2021 has like already just started and we don't know what like the theme of 2021 would be like you know how this year would go so I just felt like I should draw something really more nature-like because, you know, since the pandemic, a lot of things have been better. The skies have been more clear and I just really like it. So I wanted to draw a lot of butterflies on flowers. That's what I was kind of thinking, like my thought process. And I'm not that advanced as at drawing like butterflies so i just went with however i knew how to draw butterflies so i looked up on google and i took like a reference photo and i used that photo to kind of help me and guide me on what type of butterfly i should make and how it should look like you know to make it look more realistic because that's how i like drawing you know i like drawing realistic with some shading i don't like working with colors because i feel like working with colors is just like a challenge for me i have to blend so many colors and it doesn't often look real and i feel like whenever i try too hard my drawings do not turn out great but whenever i'm just like easy and have my arm my hand just doing the rest of it it's much more easier so i started off by drawing like i wanted to draw one butterfly as like a main character but then i decided to draw more and have like more butterflies so I ended up drawing four butterflies, all different sizes and all different looks. So one that looks from the side, you know, the side view of a butterfly when it's flying. One that like from the back view of the wings and two others that were a little more smaller. So maybe kind of give that look that they're more like farther away. Being more attentive, it's time to finally shade it in. So I was looking at that view of where the light would shine. So there's always like a highlight and I want to color very lightly. So there's something about me, anytime I try to like shade in light, it always turns out to be dark. I don't know if it's just my pencils or the way I do it, but I tried my best to make more like highlights to really highlight the area. But I also didn't want it to make it like too white so it just looks fake. I wanted to give it like a lighter look. So whenever I like drawing, I like to take it easy and just go with whatever I feel like is best. Something I did with this drawing, I left the top right corner like just totally free. No butterflies, no flowers. That's what I thought I did like a mistake. I, I didn't really like it. I just thought it would be good. But then after when I started shading the whole thing, it didn't look that good. So I tried to do something with it. Instead, I filled it up with like little stars or something. That didn't also work out. I wanted to emphasize my drawings by making it look more realistic so really working on that line art i really really wanted to like make that line art like show because i wasn't gonna outline it with anything i just thought to leave it like this so i wanted to really focus on that outline the lining artwork and really make sure people can see that line work through the shading I get inspired by a lot of people while doing art and it makes me wonder like you know they are so professionals at doing this artwork they are so good at this and like i wish i could be as good as them but then i realize when others look at my artwork they're like wow this is so awesome and i realize that you know the stage i am at like drawing i think it has improved so much more than how i used to draw when i compare my artwork from like how i draw now to how i used to draw back then i feel like there has been so much that has changed if i look at my artwork now i feel like you know my shading has got better you know there's more value to it and more depth when i look at it there's more darker areas which give more format and depth to it and like the flower you know when it's closer to the middle there is more darker areas than the outside where there's highlight and stuff so i'm not good at explaining but um 
my shading has got way better. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to shade lighter. Don't ever shade dark because when you shade dark, it's just hard to work with that. So anytime I shade anything, it gets so dark. I don't know how to work with it, but I'm still, I'm, it's like a work in progress, but I'm still doing it. I'm still trying to work on it and I think I'll get better. I probably will because I have gotten way better than I was before. I think there will be much more improvement. Right now I'm working on the main butterfly, so the main thing for the whole drawing. And this one I really focused on the details, put more emphasis and I emphasized the details, the drawings and the shading for this one much more than I did with the flower and the other butterfly that I shaded previously. I pay more attention to my main parts of the butterfly, so maybe the wings, that's the main thing of a butterfly. Butterflies are so colorful and so bright, their wings really share more color than their body does, so the body of the butterfly and the head of the butterfly are mainly black, but the wings are red, orange, or maybe sometimes even black, blue, they're so colorful. But since I wasn't working with color, I decided to really emphasize the detail and try and make it look like it's a colored photo that I took that has just been filtered with like a black and gray, black, white, and gray uh, filter. Focusing on one detail at a time, or maybe the whole butterfly, I'm focusing on the whole butterfly, but I'm also focusing on the flower at the same time. I feel like you shouldn't do that. Just focus on one thing at a time. That's really crucial for your drawing because when you focus on one thing at a time, you get it done and you get it done properly. So whatever you're drawing, don't be in a rush. I This was actually a drawing that took me one hour with break time in the middle. I you know, had dinner and had some snacks, drank water, so it took me one time for this whole drawing, but I fast forwarded this and this looks faster, but make sure you take your time and put more effort into your drawing because then it really shows how much you have improved when you put more effort into your drawing. Whenever you're just lazy and just draw whatever, it doesn't really show how much you've improved. It just shows how lazy you maybe are. But two things are for sure. Take your time and be focused on one thing at a time. Small details or maybe the shading. Focus on one thing because that's the most crucial thing about drawing and it'll actually turn out to be awesome. Trust me. So I added a bit more details to my drawing to make it look more perfect and now when I look back at this, the wings are not perfect at all. The right one is smaller than the big, uh, the left one and that makes me so mad. I never noticed that, I thought it was perfect. You know, sometimes these little details really, really affect your drawing because the one mistake you do in your drawing, it stands out more than the whole drawing. But you know what? I'll learn from this. You know, anytime you make a mistake in your drawing, you can learn from it the next time and keep that in mind while drawing your next drawing and really put that into your mind and draw your drawing. <laughs> if that makes sense. Because anytime you make mistakes, you can learn from them. Instead of just like instead of just blaming yourself, learn from them instead because it can do you a lot of good. So I did this flower in the same way I did the other flower and I thought that would be just, you know, the same, a similar way. I didn't change any style because these flowers are the same. I just switched around the petals a bit and changed the highlight to a bit from the front and put more thorns on it. So I kind of think of this as a rose now because of the thorns, but I don't really know what kind of flower this is. 
So now this is my last butterfly I'm working on since this was the last one and I didn't really want people to focus more on this last one. I kept it kind of like a simple shape, like a simple detail for the butterfly. Just kept, uh, like this kind of drawing, I didn't really put more effort into that. I don't know why. Sometimes at the end of the drawings, I get so lazy, so tired of it because I don't want, sometimes I don't finish my drawings. That's the worst part about it. But uh, I did finish this drawing, which I'm so happy about, and I like it. So I outlined each of these drawings because I thought to shade it. Because when I shade the whole circle so it doesn't look plain, the drawing, the shading would combine and there wouldn't be like a contrast. So I wanted to outline it and give it like some space to really show that this drawing is more different and it's popping out more. That kind of effect, that kind of look, I was going for that. If you don't understand me, just watch till the end. That's when it all makes sense. So I wanted this drawing to be kind of like a moon. You know, sometimes when you stand in front of a moon or take a photograph of something and the moon, like the full moon is in the background. Some of those photographs and some of those drawings. And it's just like the whole thing is black, but then the moon or the sun set is like the main part of the picture that gives me an idea whoa i just got an idea of like a new drawing i should do you know what? i'm gonna try that like sometimes you there's these expectations you have from yourself like you know what this drawing is gonna be so bomb i'm just gonna love it so much but then like it doesn't turn out the way you want it to be and you get upset that happens to me a lot but you know what? Don't be upset with your drawing because the stage, the level you are at of drawing, it's way better than you think it is. Trust me. Always remember to practice because practice doesn't make perfect. It makes permanent. Remember that and always be confident about your drawing. Trust me, it'll be better. And when I thought my drawings weren't good, I've improved so much. I guarantee you, you will too. So at this point when I like look at look back at this video it the shading became more darker and I was upset with myself for that like I said before my shading tends to get darker than I want it to be and that's a problem but you know what this still does look good I'm not complaining I like it I like it so I thought to outline the outline that I did for my butterfly and drawing, my butterfly and like flower drawing because with the pencil it didn't really pop out so I thought outlining it with black would pop out more and I did it. I couldn't, I can't say like it's perfect but I also can't say it was horrible. So this is like in between, I like it, I like it uh, and I'm proud of myself honestly when I tell myself I can do better, this is actually so much better than I think it is because sometimes I don't finish my drawings and this is like I feel like the first one this whole year or like in the past few months that I've actually completed a full drawing so I'm proud of myself for doing that and you honestly whenever you expect something from yourself it doesn't turn out to be the way you want it don't be upset because it it's awesome it's more perfect than you think it is So the drawing is nearly done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a big like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you guys want more drawing videos like these, let me know in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because what are you guys doing, guys? Anyways, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Thank you for watching till the very end of this video. You guys are so awesome. And if you guys want more drawing videos, like I said, let me know. And uh, this is all for today. This drawing turned out to be awesome and I'm so happy. I'm so proud of this drawing. I did better than I thought I would. Anyways, let me show you guys the finishing look. Honestly, this is really pretty. I love it, guys. 
Anyways, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I will see you all next time. I'm tired now. Au revoir, mes amis.